Hey everyone and welcome to this segment on this regional segment on the central region here within EMER. My name is Marcel and I'm really excited in the next seven minutes to walk you through some of the cool things related to DevNet, to APIs and programmability that we have been doing here in, in Central. Before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Marcel. I'm an API and programmability lead in the EMEA region. Um, so I work with our big customers and partners in EMEA on everything related to APIs and programmability. And ever since joining Cisco, I've developed sort of a, a specific passion for everything related to net DevOps and collaboration. And being based in Switzerland, I am part of the central region. So what is that, that central region that we're looking at here right now? Well, we are the central part, the 29 countries that make up the center part of EMER. So we go all the way from uh, Poland and Russia on the top down to North Macedonia and all the way from Switzerland on the left all the way to the end of Russia. So we are really the center part of this, of, of this entire region. But more importantly than the countries, we do have a group of very passionate people around pro mobility. And I just want to show you a few of the case uh, faces and you will see some of their work throughout the rest of this, this presentation. So these are our central makers, the people really, really passionate, or some of our central makers, the people are really passionate about definite, really passionate about pro mobility, really passionate about building cool new solutions based on our APIs and based on pro mobility. And we do encourage all of our partners, we do encourage all of our customers to understand the potential of DevNet and understand the potential of what you can unlock, the possibilities you can unlock with this. And we encourage them to get certified, right? We have the DevNet specializations, the DevNet certifications now, but at some point we also have to not only talk the talk, but also walk the walk. And this is what Peter Pavlou came up with when he said, hey, DevNet is a central part of our sales strategy here in Central. So we want everyone to be able to talk about this. And to do that, uh, he started the DevNet 21 initiative, which was announced to all of our systems engineers and specialists in EMR Central to get certified to any existing DevNet levels before the end of the fiscal year 21, right? That, that's the fiscal year that ended this October. So each of the system engineers, each of the specialists was encouraged to obtain at least a DevNet associate level qualification for uh, at, until the end of the last fiscal year. So how do we do on that? Well, we have a 92% attention rate. So 92% of our SEs and specialists are at least definite associate. Some of them have gone beyond that, right? Some of them became specialized in their topic of interest. Some of them went on to become a professional and I'm sure most of them will go for it or some of them will go for the expert once it comes out. But what this number really means is that if you are going to talk to any specialist or SE in the central region and you want to talk to them about programmability or definite, there's a 92% chance that they will be able to answer your question. And with this new skill set, we are now able to provide new solutions, provide new cool things, and do new, new things, both with our partners and with our customers. And for our partners, even though the last year was mostly virtual, we have done, we've kept doing all of the cool things that you know, like definitely express events or a hackathon. This one was a virtual hackathon here in Switzerland around collaboration and enterprise networking solutions, where our partners came up in just two days, came up with amazing solutions of things that you can build on top of our platform. But it's not just our partners and our customers innovating with the newfound knowledge from DevNet and the new skills. It is also our own SEs. And before diving into a specific use case and something that has actually been built within the region, I do want to take a step back and talk a bit about the way that usually these these automation projects kind of seem to work, right? So we have a data source on the left-hand side. This can be an ERP system, this can be a bot, this can be your Office 365, this could be a, a web page that you have built. And then you have some sort of data sync, a device, maybe an on-premise appliance like DNA Center or a cloud platform like Meraki and WebEx. And you want to get some data from the source to the sync. And how do you do that? Well, you build some sort of magic box that gets the data from the source, formats it, does some calculations, maybe does some modifications, and then puts that information up into the sync. And while you keep doing that over time, you acquire more and more of the, those data sources and more and more of those data syncs, and you keep building more and more of those magic boxes. But why do we keep rebuilding that box? 
This is exactly the question that our team from Hungary asked themselves, specifically three SEs uh, and specialists live at the two Levens and Joseph. And they said, hey, why do we keep rebuilding that box if we can just build it nicely once and reuse it for future use cases? And that solution, that magic box that they sort of put in the middle, they called it API center. So the idea being that they wanted to be able to connect different APIs on the left and different data things on the left and uh, different APIs on the right together and build a solution that they could quite easily integrate with a customer if they have a need for that. And I'm going to talk to you at the end how much of use cases they have implemented with this already. But to look at one of those use cases, one of the things that was implemented with API Center, with that adapter in the middle between the different uh, different data sinks and data sources was this challenge where we had a brick and mortar store. They had a bunch of branch offices and each of these branch offices had a router on site with, depending on the router that was inside, two or three different uh, interfaces configured to different mobile providers. And of course, they always wanted to select the mobile provider that offered them the cheapest rate automatically. So they had an accountant always enter those information based on the contracts into their ERP system. and now they would have to manually update all of those routers. Well, not with API Center. With API Center, they had the accountant still input all of that information into SAP. Then they automatically got that information, that contract information, that those rates out of the ERP system, parsed it, understood which was the cheapest solution or which was the cheapest route, and then used vManage to put push a new device configuration, to put a new routing configuration on 2,500 routers in each of their branch offices. So this is just one example of the 55 slide deck that I have from this team where they build real customer use cases and use cases that implemented real customer value based on API center. But this is the end of our regional segment here from Central. And now I would really like to hear from you what you have all built based on DevNet, based on the Cisco APIs and based on ProMobility. Thank you very much for your attention.